So I heard some new uh, leaf springs right there. Picked them up from the States. They're for my truck. Because my old ones are incredibly worn out. All these joints are, I'm pretty sure are seized. They're sagging. Uh, there's this horrible atta leaf in here that was done probably a super long time ago. And they just need to change. So I am so excited to do that. Let's go do it right now. Okay, first things first, I'm heading over to my friend Nate's shop and uh, I'm going to see if he has some room for me to put my truck because I need a flat, solid surface to hold my truck up on. And the shop's close enough that I can like walk back if I have to break something. It's also 10 o'clock at night, so it's a great time to be starting a project. What's up, Nate? Also, I'm keeping all my tools here. What? Right, Nate? What'd you say? All my tools are here. Yeah. He's building a bed. Building a bed. Something to sleep on, finally. Looks pretty cool. Tools. Okay, so the first thing I gotta do, I'm gonna jack the truck up and put it on some jack stands, take off the wheel, and then start loosening bolts. There aren't that many, so it should be pretty easy. Okay, now that uh, I've got both the wheels off and uh, we can easily see everything, let me show you what I'm going to do. It's really pretty simple. The stuff's just kind of heavy, so you got to be careful. But this bolt, it's got to come out. These two have to come out and this has to come off. And I bought all new parts, so I'm probably just gonna end up cutting them all with a grinder instead of unbolting them because they're completely seized. But yeah, let's do it. Also another thing is I've got these tires under the truck. In case it falls, it'll fall on those. I've also got these extra safety precautions. Uh, these other jack stands, they're not actually holding up the axle, but if it does come down, it'll land on them, which it won't. And uh, then finally, these are the ones actually supporting it right now, and it's right under the supports of the body. That's just... Uh, so you know how to line them up so that they're both in the same spot. Pretty much the whole axle is just solid, as long as it's a flat area. Let's get grinding. So everything is off. Uh, the one bolt I had to grind out, but these ones somehow came out, which is awesome. This one, I had to get under there and see it's seized inside there, which is pretty common. So the bolt's in there, but uh, I got new ones, new hardware for everything, as I mentioned. So I had to grind that one out. These are off and I just left the shock on. You're probably supposed to take it off right here, but uh, I'm not bothering. I think I can just put the U-bolts back in to that same position. Should be fine. So, we're 50% of the way there. I might only do one tonight. Probably won't drive the truck tomorrow, but we'll see. If I get both of them done, then that'll be crazy, actually. But it gets faster as you go along. This is the first time I've ever done this. Let's go. Nate went to go get food. Old, new. <sighs> Tired already. Pathetic. Hearts. Let's 
go. Everything is finally on. And I gotta torque everything. Extremely tired. Could have done without Nate. Also, check this out. That's the uh, overload spring. Oh, legs are shaking. And what's that? The overload spring actually is broken on this side, the driver's side. I'm sure that didn't help. All those ones are still intact, but the springs are completely messed up. It's gonna feel so much better. So this last bit, uh, my mic was off. It was actually screwed up for the majority of the video, but I managed to fix the audio. Anyways, I'm just explaining that the truck feels a lot better, um, that I'm extremely tired, it's 4 a.m., and that I'm not wearing a shirt because it was completely covered in grease and rust, and it felt terrible. It was all in my hair and everything. That's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like, subscribe, if you want. See ya.